Okay guys, uh, I just wanted to show you a bit of mixing anyways. I don't want it to be too long of a video. It's kind of an experiment because I had to buy a different medium. My art store, local art store, did not have uh, my normal GAC 800 or Liquitex professional pouring medium. So I had to buy this. This is Demco Acrylics pouring medium. It's actually made in Canada. Can you guys see? Okay. So I put a little bit in each one. To show you, um, I'd say about an eighth of this cup is filled with pouring medium. Okay, I'm going for black and a black and like a neon uh, set, I guess I'll call it. This is the least. This doesn't have very much in it. Now this is just a cheaper Walmart paint. So it is transparent. It's not going to be opaque like the other nice colors I have, the PBO Studio paints. And we just mix really well. water after once I put all my paints in. These have sat, these paints, so they might actually have a skin on it. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. put water in here now to get the rest of the paint out and since I need to add water to it anyways right mix it up like so and these are folk art neon blue yellow and green And I mix it like this, I go circular so that it goes all around the edges and grabs the paint. Let it sit. I guess I'll do the blue. A good way to get it in is to go one way and go another way. Go this way now. It gets you less bubbles. That's what it does. Make sure you have it mixed really well. Okay, leave it for a minute. 
I said I can put water in as needed after. I'm going to start with a test piece of a piece that I didn't like. Uh, the video is actually on my channel here. It didn't turn out very nice, but it was nice and flat, like there wasn't any raised spots on it. So I figured I could paint over it and try to pour it again. And these folk art paints are transparent. I've, I know this because I did a whole painting with them with black underneath and I could not see my colors at all through the black at all it was terrible okay now black black is going to be my base color for the next uh, probably three paintings I'm going to do here And I'm probably going to have to add water to this, so I need to leave room in the cup. So I get it pretty much done and then I always wipe around the sides because it pulls any excess paint back in. Okay. Make sure it's mixed very well. And one of the paintings I'm going to try is going to be a negative space pour. So I'm going to pour all black down and then I'm going to fill the, maybe a shot glass. Uh, yeah. With all neon colors. And I'm going to try and flip that quickly and um, see what I can come up with. I always check my consistency by lifting it up like so. And it appears kind of thin. Thinner than the folk art paint. Uh oh. Okay, now. That uh, black was just an acrylic dollar store paint. I actually enjoy this paint. It's really thicker than most of the dollar store paints like that are very thin. This is thick kind of paint. I think it's this uh, new pouring medium that's making it too watery. Yeah. Maybe next time put less of this. I did kind of put a lot. So maybe actually I should add more black then. That's a good idea. A little bit more. Okay. That should help thicken it up, I guess. See, one way and the other way. One way, 
then the other way, then one way, then the other way. Okay, now it appears to be a bit thicker the way I wanted, and I should probably wipe the sides too. And I usually like to do that with a clean stick and very carefully because this is a full cup of paint. Alrighty. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yep. And I'm going to have to add water to that for sure. Okay. Now, these are my PBO Studio Acrylics, high velocity. And each one of them is opaque. These are some of my favorite paints. With this kind of paint, you don't need a lot. Uh oh. What have I done? Please tell me I didn't get anything on my pants, my new pants. Uh oh. We'll have to get at that in a minute. Okay. So we already have some yellow here. So we don't need as much, I'm guessing. We dump some paint in. Okay. And you are going to be adding a considerable amount of water to the high velocity paints. And again, about an eighth of my cup has pouring medium in it. And to, depending on how much paint this will make once I add water, it might be about half a cup, which will probably be enough, or maybe it won't actually. I was thinking about making a lot. Yeah, see all the bubbles in there? Okay. This is made in Canada, this stuff. I've never heard of it. It's called Demco Acrylics Pouring Medium. And I believe they had a bunch of uh, the paints that are actually the fluid paints that are like watery. I'm, I don't even know because I don't buy them. I'm not sure the name. I always, I enjoy mixing my own paint. Sometimes coming out with my own colors, right? And I've noticed that these are the only ones that are uh, also going to glow in the black light. I'm not even sure about these three. Actually, let me think. No, I never saw them glowing in the bedroom. I used these ones in that painting. So actually, only these colors are going to glow. Huh. So I might need more yellow even. Uh, I can remix. I'll re mix more after. Okay. Orange. Now, the transparent colors, you gotta keep in mind where you place them on your thing because they are gonna show through the color underneath. Because they're transparent, right? So. I actually love how the. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. PBO Studio Acrylics um, break down better in the water or in the medium, like than the high, fl the high, the Liquitex. What? What are they? Heavy body. Liquitex acrylic paints. Those ones are actually quite hard to like get a good mix down. Like you got to really try. And there's a lot of pigment in these paints. 
Um, like I said, they were all, the only ones that actually glowed when I turned on my uh, black light in the bedroom. Not even the white I used glowed, actually, so I'm not sure if I have to buy a special white now or I'm going to have to look into that. Even my glow-in-the-dark paint that I mixed in with my paintings that I was hoping would glow in my previous videos, um, that didn't even end up glowing under the black light, which kind of sucked a bit. Uh, this is feeling a little watery. Uh. And this is just a quick mixing video. I figured since I had some new stuff that I should mix up for you guys, I haven't done that yet. Just to show you. And even if I used GAC 800 or the other medium, I would still, uh, the Liquitex pouring medium, I would still um, put the same amount. Like, I don't see a reason to waste it. Like, the more the uh, medium you put in it, the more reaction you're going to get from your paint. Um, so, if also at the same time, if you want your uh, painting to stay kind of the same way that you put it, then you might not want to put too too much medium in there because the medium will is will react while you're not in the room, right? Also, if you put too much water, your cells won't uh, hold; like they won't stay by the time you come back to it. Okay, so this feels like a good consistency. It's dripping off weird. I don't like why. Why is it doing that? Alrighty. Now this one doesn't have any medium, so we'll have to put some in. Okay. What's that? Bits. And some pink. One way, and then turn this way, and this way. Yeah, it's very pigment, pigment, pigmented paint. There we go. Okay, I'm finding that this medium is not making it any thicker, that's for sure. It's actually making it maybe so I don't have to add water at all. Um. It appears to be too watery to me. Okay. 
Yeah, see how it was like falling off like that? It wasn't actually in a stream anymore. It was like chunking off like water. And that to me says it's not uh, thick enough. What's going on? Like I don't want it to appear watery at all. Okay, water. Now I generally just go over here. I'm gonna catch up to it. Give me somebody else's problem now. My job is to get Haley home safe. Come on over here, Haley. It's okay. And then I do just a few drops of water at a time. And make sure I wipe all that back in. Same thing. This orange almost looks like a pink to me. It's very nice. And there's no faster way to get the water in. You just have to keep going like this. Wipe the sides. Not sure why it's dripping like this. You want to tell me what happened? There's a third player with his camera. So now they got the girl and the I'm gonna have to add more orange, I think. And put less water at a time just to be sure, because I think I may have added too much water to that orange. And this is going to be my black light series. I'm going to try attempt to do the video with my black light in the bedroom. My new art station! Yay! I made an art station, guys. Okay, still too drippy. Yeah, the best way to get the water in is to go like one way and then turn your stick, go this way, turn your stick, go this way, because it's uh, the pouring medium, it's kind of like, I don't know, oily or something, like it doesn't want to stick the water, 
you got to be sure that you're uh, fully um, mixed. You don't want like um, watery paint mixing together with other watery paint. It will. Uh, it won't look very nice. Sometimes it will if it's the right color, like pink and what? What did I say? Pink and blue might make a purple, right? Um, the other colors, though, I need to be sure that they're super thick or the right consistency, because if not, I could potentially ruin it. Okay, that one's done. My pink. Now I'm just going to close the lid. This one I decided I need to add more paint. So, and it's almost gone. So, I like to make sure I get all my paints out. And maybe I should save some. If I can. If that's not enough, I'll have to add more, but it should be. Okay. Yeah, just be sure that there's no lumps and you're super mixed up. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. sure it's really mixed good like the pink Okay, pink or orange. How about you? This one kind of seems perfect. Gonna leave it. Wow. 
you want to see Harry again? Of course I do. You're prepared to do anything to make that happen? Yes, of course. Please don't hurt her. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Oh, 4 30. I'm supposed to sell a painting. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot. I forgot. Add a bit of water to this black. And then I should be done with these. Yeah, easiest way to mix in the water when you don't have a lot of room in your cup. There's another easy way, or reason why it's easiest to do it. Cool. Look at this paint. Try not to spill it. 